three drones already. Three drones dead. F perhaps a fourth drone. Four drones, I think, killed by those Zerglings. Good work there by uh, Oversky, killing a number of drones. And of course, drones are essential in Zerg versus Zerg co uh, combat here. Um, but it looks like uh, Luxury will catch a couple of Oversky's overlords that were the two overlords are floating over space. And it looks like Oversky has Mutus Cazone, and he's going to try to kill some of these overlords uh, floating around also. And it looks like uh, Zerglings now from Luxury coming south also. So he's going to go for a counterattack on uh, Oversky's base, and, and Oversky actually has to defend with his Mutalisks also. But of course, Mutalisks can kill Zerglings at a reasonable rate if, as long as there's a good number of Mutalisks. And looks like um, looks like uh, Luxury won't be able to commit there. I think Oversky has a slight advantage here. I do believe uh, it looks like yeah, the drone count on Luxury side is kind of sparse here. I, I do believe he picked off a number of the mining drones. It looks like yes, uh, Oversky definitely has a drone advantage here. We'll see if he manages to get this into a unit advantage and eventually uh, you know take the game here. Um, he really needs to. His team is depending on right now, but it's good for him that he got that mu that Zergling attack off when he did. Uh, I'm not sure if his Mulus count has suffered at all. I don't believe it has, though. And eventually, he will be able to produce more Mulusks than uh, than Luxury can. Looks like Oversky is saying two Scourge in into the base, but missing the Mulusks uh, of of uh, Luxury. And looks like um, Luxury going for another attack with his Zerglings, but is going to be stopped by his Mulusks. And of course, the Mulesk right now are so important in both offense and defense. You really don't want to have them stray too far away from your base uh, because you, you could just lose the game just for you know five seconds if the uh, enemy Mulesk get over it. And it looks like an attack coming in from Luxury now. Big trouble for over uh, for Oversky though because while his uh, Mulesk are busy micro against the Scourge, some Zerglings have gotten in, into his base here. Uh, and it looks like the big air battle going on here, but also Zerglings from. Um, from uh, Luxury are killing off a couple of his drones here, and looks like Oversky is actually going to lose this air battle here. Uh, I guess well, some of the Scourge managed to land, and actually, it looks like he's actually quite far behind now in terms of the drone count. Uh, he does manage to fend off the air attack and the ground attack, but not uh, not before losing a couple of drones of his own, and looks like he actually has fewer drones than Luxury does now. So a good attack by Luxury there, evening up the game, and perhaps giving him an edge here, because uh, he did manage to whittle out the uh, the uh, drone count that um, and the Mutalist count that uh, Oversky had, and Oversky is in a bit of trouble. I think he needs to counterattack right now. Um, yeah, he really needs to because, yeah, he is going to bring a couple Zerglings up, but unfortunately, Zerglings are already being produced for luxury, and I think oh, he's going to need to get lucky here. He's, he's going to need to somehow catch uh, catch Luxury's Mutalisks far from his base and pick off a couple of drones uh, in order to, to have a chance of victory here. And see, Luxury is going to micro his Mutalisks to kill both the Scourge and the uh, Zerglings before they can do any damage. I think Oversky has actually wasted a couple of Scourges flying into Luxury's base, and that's something he can't afford because they're precious gas that uh, Zerg just absolutely needs. And um, looks like now two drones mining with expansion for Luxury, so he's going to steadily get a little bit of an economic advantage there. And uh, looks like Luxury just uh, killing off another Overlord there. And Oversky um, managing to defend against these incoming Zerglings pretty well, though. Uh, Luxury still continuing to send them in. Now he's sending his Mulisks so that the uh, Oversky's... Uh, looks like Oversky doing great micro there, retreating and killing those Zerglings. Meanwhile, now he has to engage in air combat. Uh, looks like he manages to... Ooh, he, he his... Um, his anti-scourge micro wasn't perfect there. He managed to uh, only kill, I think, one of them. I think three landed there from Luxury. So Oversky uh, has a couple of damaged Mulisks there. Um, and you know, that is definitely you don't something you don't want. Of course, the uh, scourge versus mulus combat. You the ideal thing for you to do is to uh, target one mu one scourge against each mulusks. So you don't actually kill them outright, but then you send your mulusks to finish them off with uh, with them only having about ten hit points or uh, fifteen hit points. Uh, it looks like now uh, Oversky going for a little bit of attack, but it fails again. Um, Oversky uh, with. Uh, Perhaps a f two or three fewer Mulisks than Luxury does, but Oversky, I, st I still think uh, quite well in the game still. I think the game is quite close right now, um, although I would give Luxury a little bit of an advantage here. Of course, Zerg versus Zerg, uh, things can change in an instant. Like I said, 10 seconds of your enemy's Mulisk floating over your your drones could mean the end of you, even if you have more Mulisks uh, on, on, in the air at that point. Uh, so it, it's an incredibly close matchup, and... Um, Looks like a superior number of Zerglings coming down from Luxury now. Good number of Zerglings, and Oversky could be in big trouble if he doesn't spot this coming. He needs to get his uh, Mulus to start killing these Zerglings, and it looks like he's not going to be able to do that. Uh, Luxury's Mulus have also gotten the base here, and now Oversky is in big trouble because Oversky will have to be busy killing off these Mulus, uh, and he won't be able to micro against these Zerglings, which are going to ravage his drone line. And it looks like Oversky is getting a counterattack, mean meanwhile, with four Zerglings inside of Luxury's base. All kinds of crazy combat going on here. Uh, looks like <laughs> Luxury going for a snipe on the uh, on the Spire that of Oversky and looks like he's all oh, his his Zerglings are all over the base here and I think this is gonna be a good game for Oversky. Oversky has lost all of his Mutalisks, unfortunately. Um, he had about two or three fewer Mutalisks, and that made the difference. That told the difference in this game. Meanwhile, Oversky does have a couple of Zerglings inside of Luxury Space. Probably managed to kill most of the uh, drones there actually. Um, 
But I think Oversky just has no drones left. He has absolutely no drones left. Uh, really unfortunate for him. I don't think I don't think he can stay in this game though because there's just still more forces on the ground. And Luxury wins the game. Oversky loses. Unfortunately for Air Force Ace, um, they they lose the series three to one. Uh, good showing by Dazang in game one, managing to peel off a victory. But uh, since then, uh, Boxer had a tough defeat against Lita on in the second game and in the third game, the two v two team that was Flower and Justin just overran the Ace team. Uh, actually. The 2v2 team of Flower and Justin hasn't actually been doing very well this year. Uh, it's actually their first victory after two defeats. But last year they were quite dominant, and uh, this year perhaps they'll return to dominance now that they've managed to get their first victory under their belt. Oversky, unfortunately, not able to beat the uh, young up-and-coming luxury here in this game. But I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this commentary. I will be sending up perhaps the end of two games out of... Um, Air Force Ace versus MBC Hero, uh, which was played a few days ago, about five days ago. Uh, the commentator Diggity did game one, and uh, the remainder of the series is quite exciting, so I perhaps will get these done maybe today or tomorrow and post them up for you. Afterwards, I'm going to be doing a couple more classic commentaries. I think I'm going to just skip doing some of the present day commentaries for a while. I'm not scheduled to do any more. Uh, well, I think I am actually scheduled to do a little bit of the OSL, but uh, that's in a while. I'm going to be doing Boxer versus I Love UV in the 2004 OSL finals. Um, perhaps that will be the next thing that's up. We'll have to see. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Cholera. Please leave comments about how I'm doing and uh, any other classic series or present day series you'd like to see. Bye bye.